You won't have another opportunity like this in a thousand years. Right now, it's your local forecast on the Weather Channel. weather.com from the weather channel and you'll see it coming snow and a wintry mix of a lot of freezing rain and just real sloppy conditions still coming down in parts of the east and some locations you could be seeing blizzard like conditions it's miserable we've got a lot to look at hello and welcome to weather center it's being sponsored by new afrin i'm paul emick and I'm Will Annan. Thanks for joining us here this evening. A new winter storm is forming and will bring many of you trouble later in the week. Those details are coming up in just a few minutes. But first, tonight's wintry weather. Look at this. The people of Raleigh Durham are still digging out from their record snow. More than 20 inches of snow is measured at the airport. And officials say the airport will not reopen until Thursday. Tens of thousands of people are without power. And Governor Jim Hunt has declared a state of emergency for North Carolina. Well, we'll check on the current scene right now. We're looking at some freezing rain coming on down for you folks around Boston, Mass. Still some light snow in and around the New York City area. And the big storm still beginning to wind on up and beginning to cruise on northward. This will blanket just about all of central and northern parts of New England with some very, very heavy snowfall north of Boston from this point forward to at least the early morning hours. Now, snowfall amounts have been tremendous. Again, we see the lighter purple, at least 6 to 12 inches of snowfall. The darker shades of purple, at least a foot of snowfall. In some cases, two feet. And the list goes on all the way from Raleigh, Durham, on down towards Washington, D.C. Take a look at some of these scenes right now in and around the Washington area. Again, we saw some very slick conditions. It is the worst snowstorm in Washington, D.C. in four years. Driving on city streets convinced city and federal governments officials to close for the day. That decision meant less traffic, but driving and walking were treacherous. The federal government is expected to be open for business during the day on Wednesday. Let's check on some of those amounts again with the snowfall. These are some of the numbers. Raleigh, Durham, your record setting snow, 20 inches. The Washington and also the Baltimore, Maryland area between 14 and about 18. Willow Grove, Pennsylvania, 11. Central Park in New York City, 4.5. Bedford, Mass, 5. And right around Boston, Mass, 4. And you are now looking at some freezing rain. And for Boston, Mass at this hour, 32 degrees. Freezing rain is coming on down. The Big Apple, a little bit of light snowfall, 27. Philadelphia, 27 degrees. And after your big snowstorm in Washington, now standing at 26 at the present hour. Back towards the west, it is definitely colder. Pittsburgh, PA is at 16. Cleveland, 21. And for southwestern lower Michigan, with some lake effect snows coming on down, Grand Rapids, you are standing at 15 degrees. Now let's factor in some of those winds because the temperature in Boston is 32 and uh, New York City is 27, but the wind chill goes down to 10 in New York. Philadelphia is at four, three below in Buffalo, New York, 
and down to 11 below in Saginaw, Michigan. Looks like some of those cold icy winds begin to drift southeastward overnight. Should be hitting the big cities just in time for your early morning commute. And here we go, we're looking at the snowfall beginning to fly. The big snows will be gone, of course, for New York City. And for Boston Mass, maybe some more light snow showers diminishing by midday. It looks like central and northern New England from this point forward. You'll be looking at the big snows well to the north of Boston Mass. We're Boston during the day on Wednesday in the morning. Maybe some light freezing rain in 34 degrees. Maybe a couple of snowflakes in New York City. Your temperature will be about 34. Now for a look at the deep south and the Midwest, let's go to Paul. Okay, across the Midwest, still a few areas of snowfall are still of concern to us right now. Southern U.S., a few snowflakes, but don't expect it to pile up, not like last night's big event. The clouds are still here, and so is the precipitation. We've got some snowfall now coming in around Chicagoland. For example, around Miggs Field, reporting a little bit of light snow. Also, this little batch of lake effect snow continues to stream in. Take that cold air pushed across the lake water that's relatively warm compared to that chilly air. Picks up that moisture and deposits it here. We've been seeing a little around Miggs Field, as I mentioned, some in toward Gary, Indiana, even a bit toward Muncie at times. At around Muncie today, you might uh, encounter a little snowflake here and there, still a little bit longer, uh, not much left toward the morning. In the parts of Michigan, too, we've been seeing the snowfall, a little bit around Detroit. Then you scoot up on toward the UP, and we saw a lot. Here's a look at snowy Marquette. Kind of a snowy day here across the Great Lakes and the UP. Not the best day to be out driving the roads. More snowfall could be coming into Marquette, too. Could pick up another three to six inches in some locations. We've got a lot to think about with our snow on the way. Even additional snows in northern parts of Indiana. Current temperatures 14 to Chicago, 7 to Minneapolis. But there is that wind chill. The Windy City feels like minus 14. Here's a quick look at the morning. Few areas of snowfall. Otherwise looking at a pretty good yet cool day toward Chicago. In the southern U.S., just a couple of spots still experiencing any kind of snow. Asheville, North Carolina, also in Bristol, Tennessee, and also some light snow reported around Nashville. So Music City getting just a little. Any snowfall may be fairly light, though, in the eastern parts of Tennessee, 1 to 3 inches. Temperatures right now cool 28 to Atlanta, 22 to Nashville, but your wind chill makes it feel like 8, minus 2 to Atlanta, even a cool wind chill around Orlando. Here's a quick look at the morning, much quieter. Much quieter, 35 toward Atlanta, but hang on. Looks like some wintry, icy conditions may come back to the southeast. Now let's focus our attention westward. With that, here's Will. And Paul, we'll check on our western system because we're looking at a lot of moisture still beginning to streak across Southern California. The big rain's done for Los Angeles and most of Southern California, but that moisture is definitely on the move during the next 24 hours, invading much of the Southern Plains and the state of Texas. And you folks are on Dallas, Wichita Falls, even around Oklahoma City, Freezing rain or snow or a combination of the two could be on the way by late tomorrow night and also in the early on Thursday morning. Winter storm watches are already flying now for extreme northern Texas and much of central and southern Oklahoma towards Little Rock, Arkansas. Let's see what's going to be happening now throughout the west. You've got a little bit of rainfall still lingering in the L.A. basin, but the bulk of the big rains are gone. This was the scene earlier on, by the way, in and around Los Angeles, California. Check on some of these scenes. We're getting you've had a very dry winter in southern California until now. Today you had light rain off and on. It was a welcome uh, rain in many of the dry areas of the city and outside of Los Angeles there were even some concerns about some flooding. Of course the big time rains are gone. We'll look at the temperatures now still holding in the 50s. The bulk of the rainfall from this point forward begins to scoot eastward across parts of Arizona with snow still flying in the Colorado Rockies and parts of the northern Rockies too. But overall, if we're looking at the decrease of rainfall and snow throughout central and southern California. That's the forecast now as you take a look at the next 24 hours. We'll follow our southwestern storm. It begins to invade the southern plains in Texas. That orange you see on the weather map by midday and beyond. It could be some freezing rain beginning to break out in and around the Dallas area, but around Denver, Colorado, some light snow, your forecast about 35. Now, if we look at your national forecast, we go back to Paul. Okay, in the interior west, we will see some additional snowfall for the morning hours, the midday and beyond. Watch the track of this system. Could see freezing rain through Texas parts of New Mexico, and then eventually on toward the southern U.S., then another system very similar in a few more days. We'll look at that coming up in the weekend outlook. For the northeast, no relief just yet. Still some snowfall continues. We'll still see some light snow toward New York City and Boston. Western parts of the state, we'll see more of it around Buffalo, too. Maybe a few flakes near the mid-Atlantic into our evening. Otherwise, the continued march of this system may make it slippery in big portions of Texas. So we now in mid-morning, fairly light precip for the west, except for some high elevation snow. But a lot of snow in the parts of Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine could easily exceed the 6 to 12 inch range. Here's a look at our overnight lows. Pretty chilly across the Great Lakes and 
look at high temperatures here for our Wednesday. Quick look at the northeast, looks a bit on the flaky side, most locations. Quite a chill for the southern U.S., getting icy into Texas and Oklahoma. Midwest, uh, some snowflakes here too, and still wet and wintry across the interior west. Stick around, yet to come, some travel headaches in the southeast and also the northeastern part of the country tomorrow morning. Look at that next and travel-wise right after your local forecast.